upgrade from childishness and immaturity to sonship. So how do we recognize spiritual maturity? The first one is those who by reason of use. We find this answer in Hebrews chapter 5 verse 14. But solid food belongs to those who are of full age. Full age means to mature. That is, those who by reason of use. In other words, what does that mean? Those who by reason of use. A spiritually mature person is one that puts his faith to use. Are you using your faith? Are you conscious of faith at all? Do you recognize that it's only by faith that we are able to please God? Are you conscious of that faith life? Are you conscious of the fact that you are a spirit? And they that worship God must worship him in spirit and in truth, in faith. Number two, they have their senses exercised. In other words, they practice that life of faith. Are you practicing a life of faith? Through your life experiences, are you exercising your faith? Are you exercising your faith? I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God this year. I'm believing you for a hundred million. I want to pass the hundred million bar. What does that suggest? How much is the minimum tithe you are trusting God to give you then? Why don't you make that your goal? I say, Lord, I want to cross this hundred million mark. And then you, head, you get, do a job and get five million. And you bring two million. You have already committed God to bring in 20 million into your life. Can I have an Amen. I, look, there are some dangerous things I don't like to share on the pulpit. Because you think one is just talking. You commit God. Say, yes. If you say, I want to hit 100 million, that means my tithe must be. Before the two, three months, see whether God will not prove himself faithful. Hallelujah. But even the little, that you are, you are believing God for your turnover to be 100 million. And even the 10,000 is bringing, the 1,000 tithe in it, you are finding it difficult to pay. You are not serious. Hello? You are not yet serious. Walking with God is serious business. It takes discipline, a life of discipline. You are not financially disciplined. You want to walk, you are believing God. You are just, you are deceiving yourself. Hallelujah. Number three, those who are able to discern between good and evil. There is nobody here who does not know when he's doing evil. Everybody knows. But why is it that you are not able to control yourself? To do the right at all the time. That is one category. And there are some, they don't even see the difference between good and evil. They can't spot it. That evil is like normal to them. Between knowing to refuse the evil and choosing the good is growth. And for good growth, you need good diet. And for God growth, you need God diet. The difference between knowing to choose the e refusing the evil and choosing to do the good is growth. And what will be responsible for your growth is your diet. And it's a choice between the words of men, the traditions, and the word of God. Hallelujah. 